So used to lugging this everywhere, never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. There. You have to water flowers. Not these. They're fake. So they never die? Never. Well, lucky flowers. But they're not as pretty. That's cool. I know, right? Like, really cool. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time. Bang. <laughs> Good work. And thanks. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. You okay? They sound mad. Don't worry. I'll find out what's going on. I know. <sighs> Not sleeping tonight. Sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard.
According to the map, there should be another entrance to the basement around here. In the dark. Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut eye. You had a busy day. Didn't exactly sound like a polite conversation. What are you fighting about? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed of what- Shut <laughs> Shit! What have you done? So, 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 so. You're gonna be okay. I, I promise. God damn it! Help! You not to say it. Please be okay. How? What can I do? Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? We talked about going to the beach, swimming, driving along the coast. Son. Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Brody, if there's a threat to AJ, you have to tell me. Everything is so faint. I can't feel my legs. Please, try and focus. If those raiders come back... Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make them go away. Like he did. Like he did with ten sisters. Brody. <laughs> Fuck. No. Oh no. Oh no. What the hell am I gonna do?
I'm sorry. really thin. I could force it in there and lift up the latch. I can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flushed. That'll help. work. Christ! You 
you shoot me? And what do you offer up to your raider friends when they come knocking? What the hell is she talking about? He won't do it, because he needs us alive. Shut up! Cody told me Marlin was going to give me and AJ up to raiders in exchange for safety. The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her! Ah, oh, come the fuck on! They only met up with these raiders because Clem insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shane, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and a little fucking lunatic? Or me, his friend? She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. You have to believe me. You don't. You met her like two days ago. I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. This isn't like you. I know you're not weak! Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what did want you to do? She was my friend, too. So was Brody. Clem, I... It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. You were there that day those raiders came? He would have abandoned you too. Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Marlon. Be reasonable. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! All of you! Every fucking one of you! Fucking failing! Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. If they came back, I'd do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expensive. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. A real leader would have sacrificed himself. I wanted to get them. States, some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. 
please. Fine. Previously, on The Walking Dead, AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community, living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home. A real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. I didn't want to risk it. So I let him take some of the food and leave. I found Marlon and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen, and I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlon traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Violet backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then... 
Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To always aim for the head. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin? I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But... But we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He he kept telling lies. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. What are we gonna do? like should we expect a bullet too that's not what happened it's exactly what happened it was over the little mr trigger happy decided otherwise no he wouldn't do that he'd never hurt any of you it was marlin threatened us aj pointed the gun first we get it lewis just back off okay back off seriously let's go clem him? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. AJ, you're not a monster. They think I am. I wish they didn't. We're going to fix this, you and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? <laughs> Screw both of you. Hey. 
Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? You said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. So... That means you murdered him. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Hey, Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night, like a firefighter. No, firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. It was complicated. We have to decide things for ourselves now. We can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. But she's right. So is everyone else. I think you're okay. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial started soon. See you out there. This is gonna be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. <sighs> At least these won't die. They look good together. Do you think his is better? No, I like them both. Time to go? Soon. <sighs> Ready? I did that. Come on. Anything else? I don't see you coming up with any brilliant ideas. 
It'll be nice. They are not gonna be here, are they? Mullen and Brody were their friends too. Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? Why do people have funerals? Tin said they used to have them more if they died. But I don't get it. Well, to remember people we loved. They loved Marlin. Yeah, they did. I made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters? Even monsters. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach, so I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis? He was your best friend. It wasn't perfect, but you deserve better than to get gunned down by that kid. AJ killed him like it was nothing. We all saw it, and no one stopped him. You're right, Mitch. Marlin didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer, but I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, that's on it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? And what about Marlin? Who's responsible for that? Me. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. Please, don't do this. I know you're angry, but- You me don't know shit! If you did, you would've stopped AJ. Like you stopped Marlin from killing Brody? Fucking hypocrite! A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go.
AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. <laughs> Come here, sit down. No. It didn't work. I did what you said, and they didn't even care. I know that I was bad, but, but they don't want to let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? Come on. I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad. You need to handle your feelings. Get them under control. I know, or I'll make mistakes. Exactly. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh, I think I'm sad, too. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? We don't know that it didn't work. They might have voted for us to stay. I don't know. They seem pretty mad. Violet was on our side. Maybe she'll persuade the others. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to go. <sighs> I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but... Tin and Lewis and Violet. We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Whatever helps you sleep at night. What'll help me sleep at night is knowing you two are gone. You can be such a shithead, Lewis. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ is in dangerous too. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. We'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. We could have happily dumped you outside the gates. Thanks for making sure that we... <laughs> no, don't thank them. It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. Get him under control. AJ, breathe. <sighs> Where's Tin? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. I'm not walking out into the woods with him holding that thing. We already know he knows how to use it. It's yours, AJ. You should keep it. 
that I murdered Marlin with it. Yeah, but you'll need protection outside. Fine. Let the kid keep the murder weapon. <laughs> Will we get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. You've lived inside walls your whole life. You have no fucking idea what it's like out there. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. Give us a minute, would you? Yeah, so do I. I wish we hadn't fucked it up. You didn't. Marlin did. Even dead, he's still ruining shit. Jesus, Violet. Give him some fucking peace. Just stay safe. Both of you. Still got that gun? Just try to be more careful with it, okay? I will. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. Hmm. You haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. We'll find someplace new. Someplace better. I'll try not to mess it up. you on the road how long you think you can hide oh, shit that's the man from the train station yes the one Brody was scared of yeah stay here aren't you? Fuck you, you...
wouldn't, boy. Any closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. Uh, don't! I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. <sighs> He's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. <sighs> Come on, kid. We don't want to be out here all day. <sighs> It's not my school. I don't live there. I find that very hard to believe. Not a lot of kid communes around here. Ah! Don't! Ah! Let him go, please. Sure, if you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Clementine! Uh, uh, Clementine, it's you? I... My name is Lily. You probably don't remember me. Lily? I thought you died. I... came close. What the hell? Not now. The fuck is this? I said, not now. <sighs> Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. I'll never forget him leaving me on the side of the road to die. I don't blame him. I was clearly a threat to the group after I shot that girl. Carly. Lee should have left you behind, too. Might have lived longer if he did. Same thing will happen to you, if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there, you'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. A walker you didn't spot. A bullet you couldn't dodge. A desperate cry for help that brings the herd. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. That way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them.
Be loud. It's okay, AJ. Just breathe. Put your hands there. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. She's just gonna patch you up. Oh. It's enough for now. Oh, whoa. easy, easy. Where's our stuff? My gun. We lost it, buddy. Lewis and Violet ran. They're safe. Yeah, probably. Shit. I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Call themselves Whisperers. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Oh, does it hurt? Hungry. Eat. Both of you. Thank you. Do you have a name? Been a while. Since? I've said it. James. Why did you help us, James? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? I know they steal kids. They took two last year. A common practice for them. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. Thank you. Clem? Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. difficult to send the herd in to save you I didn't want them to die
So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. It was. So, where are you from? Washington. The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. <sighs> You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine. If you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns. More fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. I have to go back and warn them. It's the right thing to do. Noble of you, despite their treatment. I'll help you get back. Past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. I'll keep watch. Mm, I can't. Then we'll both keep watch. Less lonely. True. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. there.
I can't keep carrying you. I'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit. Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. It's okay, buddy. I got you. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem, shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on. What do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, We push. we push through it. We don't let it take over. I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk. out in the woods I saw they had you pinned and I shit I got so crazy when I heard you call for help I didn't even think I wanted to help you but when you told us to run I had to trust you thank you for protecting us it was really brave I really thought you were dead Clem It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? Everyone is scared, Clem. Sorry to disappoint. You'll have to put up with us for a while longer. No disappointment here. I'm glad you came back. Huh. Well, what about Mitch and the others? Oh, uh, well, they're less excited about it. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you. I... Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not, like, with her group, but the others don't like the coincidence. Her showing up right after you? I mean, I wouldn't have recognized her if she hadn't recognized me first. We were in a group together, a long time ago. Hope it was a different kind of group that didn't fucking steal people. Come on, you know it was different. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust anybody. Look, he's not with the raiders. He lives by himself in the woods. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. <sighs> wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. 
It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. You don't have to. Let me convince them. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turn them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. We've got good strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Lily told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those raiders are getting ready to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making <gasps> the calls? Since no one else stepped the fuck up. These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. I... <laughs> 